Today we're going to be going over on how or what to look for in a tripod. Uh, a tripod is strongly recommended for the course and you're going to need to buy one um, for several of the assignments and it'll make it so much more easier if you do have one. The six factors to look for when you are looking at a tripod are the type of photography. Are you going to be doing landscape, video, night photography? Are you going to be doing, you know, a camera that uses also video? Now here is a video tripod. It's extremely heavy um, and <clears throat> it's really great for like smooth shots and all kinds of video things. But for our class, we're going to be using just a simple tripod. Um, now a tripod has three legs. We look here at this gentleman here. He's using a monopod, which is only one leg. Now, because you'll be doing in our assignments, doing night photography, light painting and different setups, a tripod is what we're going to be looking at. So once again, let's go on a tripod. The next item that we're going to be viewing is the load capacity. We want to know the weight of your camera. and We also want to know the weight of your lenses. Now, why do we want to know that? Well, number one, <clears throat> we want to make sure that your lens isn't so heavy or your camera is so heavy that your tripod is going to fall over. So like here in this example. Now notice that the tripod is attached to the lens and not the camera because the cam if you've attached the lens to the tripod, I mean, see, yeah, the camera to the, the camera to the tripod, the camera would just fall over because the lens is way too heavy. Here's another example. There's a Canon 1,200 millimeter lens priced at, there's too many commas here, 120,000? I don't know, it looks like it's 120 or it's $1.20, I don't know. Anyways, um, notice once again, the tripod is attached to the lens and then here's the camera, it's so tiny. We're looking at this example on Amazon and <clears throat> I really like this chart or actually it's a table. Um, and the reason why is because it shows the maximum height of the tripod. It also shows the weight capacity. So if you were to get this first tripod, this Manfrotto, it can only weigh, you can only use it for an item that weigh less than 4.4 pounds. Compare that to this Amazon basic tripod, which is a weight capacity of 6.6. Um, here's these really extremely lightweight tripods. Um, and look at the price, 1434. <coughs> And 1035. Now this tripod, tripod weighs exactly one pound. So this would be a good tripod, like here, this number one bestseller, the 40 inch lightweight would be great for say a cell phone or say a GoPro or an, or a deep, um, or a really small camera, like a GoPro or once again, a cell phone. I wouldn't put your expensive DSLR on this cam on this tripod right here, because it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna hold the weight. It's gonna topple right over. So the weight capacity, the stability, what are they talking about? The, what is a tripod made of? Is it carbon fiber or is it aluminum? If you use a carbon fiber tripod, it's gonna be lighter and it's gonna be very strong, but it's also expensive. 
a lot of a lot of tripods are just made out of aluminum so here we're back to this table we can see the material all of these are made out of aluminum now this one the last one is made out of stainless steel and it is um going to be heavier but it's really tiny and it says compact oh it even says right here capable devices gopro cell phone super lightweight the maximum and minimum height which is great once again we're looking at this table and we have the height here it is the second to the last at the bottom the maximum and the minimum height so you want to know what those are <clears throat> and how tall your tripod can get or how low it can go the ball head and the quick release system so let's look at this manfrotto a little closer and we can see it's on a ball head actually and a quick release camera where it has this little lever to release it and um and this is priced at 64 dollars and 24 cents now let's go ahead and look at some reviews in the sheet provided on your module we have three links one is at adorama photo works and expert world travel let's take a look let's start with um photo work out and you can see they re uh, recommended the mount frodo the joby um newer 77 tripod and so on so there's a whole list that they want now also when we check prices let's go ahead and check the price for the joby you can see that they are going to amazon so they have um a link so they're going to get some money on the back end um probably and you know here's a joby and you can look at the criteria for our tripod, which again, we have six criteria. The next website is called Best Trifle Tripods Under $100. And you know, and all of them have Amazon links. So let's try the Tarinian. I'm not familiar with that brand whoa this is definitely not something that you'd want to use for art class now say you were doing macro photography or say you were doing like a youtuber and you were doing um some kind of craft or maybe you were cooking or something then this would be a great tripod for that but this tryron is it gonna is it gonna be enough for art class um it's just not going to fit the requirement but man it looks pretty awesome um, for youtubing then the website that i really liked was the adorama website and here's the criteria that we went over earlier and then here are the tripods that they recommend and you'll notice just like when we went over <clears throat> on how to buy a camera now Adorama is a is a photo supplier and they're gonna they're going to list the camera, the excuse me, the tripods that they sell. But here's the Vivitar. And here's all these other lenses, and you can look under the specs and the reviews. So I always like to look at the reviews and see what people are saying. So we it has 4.4 stars. 19 reviews awesome some people say it's cheap um some people are saying it's appears a uh, well-designed well-made center place post is very cheaply made with plastic gears and the rack is a flim flimsy crank so um read the reviews we have several for you to go over keep in mind the six criteria for purchasing a tripod um remember not to get a monopod we're not working in monopods we want a tripod uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money um don't get a video tripod the video tripod 
is it going to do it for us? Um, it's really heavy and bulky, and this is not a video class. Um, it's a photo class. You know, think about the head. You're going to pay, sometimes you pay for just the tripod and you pay for the head separately. We don't need to spend a lot of money at this point. This is an introductory class, so an introductory tripod. What, we need something to hold your camera and not fall down. That's what we're looking for. Something to hold together and not fall down.